Good buds, Patch and Everest, the Brotherhood, and Matt Cowder and Peyton Graham. There's a name from the past. And tonight they come in for their first title defense, and Crosshairs Kelly is just as focused as he's been, and Pat the Bruiser, man, he gets more massive they by the minute. They were looking this way. They were, yeah, they I gotta were, go, yeah. I gotta go. What are you doing? I, I they, don't, they don't like you. They, they do does anyone like you? Like you? Well, I like me. I can tell you got eight of you on your shirt. Warhoss, also your current RWA Tag Team Champions, they have ran rampant all over West Newton for the last, I think, six months now as the RWA Tag Team Champions, defeating the Gambinos and just being a thorn in every tag team side that even tries to challenge them for the titles. You beat the Gambinos, you've done something very, very special. Uh, you talk about teams that have 20 years of history. You talk about teams that have spilled more blood and started more riots than anybody else in this generation of Pittsburgh professional wrestling. That's Gambinos. So to beat them, especially at their own game, that speaks a lot for what Warhoss is capable of. Now here's the thing, Warhoss has to go not against one, not two, but three tag teams. Uh, okay, I'm got sorry, Freak. Now we, got, now we got Freak looking over here. Ah. No love lost between me and Freak. Freak's not a, a fan of my... Uh, Fan of myself. You guys need to learn how to get along with people better. Yeah, I like Freak. I get, can I of give you guys my therapist number? Um, I'll tell you about a, a great therapist I know later. But right now, Warhoss is about to go at it with the culmination. Oh. And the one thing about the New Age play, Gory, not scared of anybody. I mean, that veteranship. I mean, this man here has been through it all. Here's the thing about Gory. And, and Gory doesn't realize he's not 6'6 six, and six, 400 pounds. I don't mean that in Don Murphy kind of way. I mean that in a way that Gory has a chip on his shoulder. And if you think you're bigger, badder, and tougher, well, you know what? Take me down, fight me, beat me, and prove that you are. As right now, he and the fashion east of the Calvin Couture are about to start things off here tonight. The pit fight, again, a four-way for the pit fight tag team championship. And, you know, Warhaus... What can I say? They don't even have to be pinned, I don't think, Joe, to even lose the titles. That's yep. probably on their minds. My understanding, a one-fall matchup, and certainly that uh, lends itself to deciding your strategy. When do you tag in? How do you tag in? Do you tag out if you're in the ring? And how do you avoid being tagged out? Because every corner you go into, somebody's hungry to get in the ring as Calvin to go behind on Corey. Two maybe the most diametrically opposed athletes when he talks about lifestyle, when he talk about wardrobe, philosophy. Calvin Couture and Gorey would not get along and have anything in common except the desire to win this matchup for their team. Nice Oklahoma roll by Couture and couldn't put him away. Couture is such a scrappy competitor, and I mean, the runway was nice. one top tag teams for a reason for maneuvers like that. As Archer has been tagged in here, here he comes. Oh, Satan Survivor has uh, power from, oh, the dark arts to motivate him and his near 300 pound frame on Calvin Couture. And this man is a difference maker every time we see him. Same survivor, Philip Archer. I mean, when he hits you, you feel it. I mean, that's all there is to it. I mean, I've watched people need, needing medical attention, especially after he delivers that vicious headbutt or even that lariat. And keep in mind how dominant the culmination has been throughout the years here at Pit Fight Gory the inaugural and longest reigning pit fight champion. Even saw him and uh, other culmination member, Remy LeVay main event one year. You know Corey and his crew would love to get gold back on their side. Face breaker, and now here comes Klein. Over, he goes right. Oh, leg Larry by Mr. Design Tyler Klein has him. Smart maneuver by DeCapo. Well, as yeah. now they just start to uh, gang up here on Mr. Design Tyler Klein. DeCapo protecting his own interest in this matchup. And now this is breaking down already. Referee George Ross, good luck, pal. And here we go into the side suplex. Keep in mind, gentlemen, Lucha rules as announced by Hank Hudson. And for those that are unaware, in Lucha Libre to keep the action fast at a rapid pace, you don't necessarily need a physical hand-to-hand -hand tag. You could step out of the ring and then be replaced by your tag team partner. Although that's not exactly what the Wise Guys did that time. They kind of forced the issue. Yeah, Wise Guys though, in control. There's a reason they call him Brutal Tommy Irish, and he has just taken it to Katoris. He was just choking him earlier, and now has him, and again, just squeezing, keeping the air out of Calvin Couture, who's known as the scrappy one when it comes to uh, the runway. The, the brawler, the fighter, I mean, the man has it all. But right now, using those suspenders well, what, as that's, an illegal- uh, That's fashion. That's it's an illegal fashion? object. Yeah. 
suspenders around the throat. You don't see that in Milan every day. Oh I don't think goodness. Tyler Klein designed that one. No, but I'll tell you what, Tommy Irish now not letting go of that head and just taking it to Calvin Couture right now. He is not letting go. Not at all. When you've got a, a firm grip like that, a man that size, got to be what? Around 300 pound mark himself, right? Yes, definitely. I mean, him and Gino DiCapo have to at least cap the 700 mark. Now, wait a minute. This is an illegal maneuver now through the ropes. Oh! oh what happened? Sets up for DiCapo. My monitor Shot to went the out. Temple. A, a lot more than that went out on you a long time ago. I was a size 14 to the side of Calvin Couture's head. And right now, standing in the ring is wise guys thinking they are, oh boy. And keep in mind, Calvin went to the outside. He's not legal anymore. And Warhaus going to take the brawl to the wise guys. Yes, the wise guys have been running their mouth on Warhaus, saying that they are ducking them in the RWA tag team title picture. But right now, oh, Crosshair's Kelly showing brutal Tommy Irish. And oh! Well, I've never known Warhaus to duck a challenge, and they're not going to start tonight. Proactive, defending champions. Pat using the weight, and crosshairs with the power. That could be all, and the culmination intervened. Well, I was going to say I ain't one to gossip, but I have heard that same thing about Warhaus ducking, but they're not ducking in there. Oh, my goodness. I think George Ross has lost complete control of this matchup. Well, we need a George Ross, a Bob Ross, a Jim Ross, a Ross Perot. Look out, bodies everywhere, scattered throughout the uh, University of Pittsburgh, Greensburg. Five minutes gone. What's Five left minutes. in the ring right now? Warhaus and Runway, and there's no love lost between these two teams. Perhaps oh two of the most well-traveled tag teams based out of this part of the country. Nose to nose. My goodness, and they are just delivering punches here as they're all. Oh. Oh. And the culmination now, dragging the one way out of here. Oh my goodness. Gentlemen, that's a danger of a four-way matchup when you don't have your head in the swivel. You let personal animosity or you let those rankings throughout the, the uh, state get in your way. There's always a challenger there ready to take advantage of your lack of preparation. My goodness, and right now, the culmination back in the ring, taking out the runway and actually they're double teaming. They're actually teaming up with the wise guys here. Actually, what a strange alliance this is. Yes, very strange. Allegedly. Got to keep saying allegedly or they're, they're going to put put you somewhere where they can't find you. Well, imagine I, what those four could do. Oh! I know, I know Gory well enough to know he hates all people no matter what they do in their walk of life. So to see him get along with anybody says something. Here's a question. I know BC's been bitten, but have you been bitten? Uh, I have not been bitten, no. BC, I know he's once bitten twice shy, and that's why he's not saying a lot tonight. But other than that, uh, I've had to deal with the threats. I've had to deal with the bullying of the culmination. I did get my ass beat by one of the other culmination members a few <laughs> years ago. <laughs> but we ain't going to talk about that. Because right funny. now, the wise guys in the culmination are showing you that this alliance is very, very weak in terms of trust, but the runway oh. picked their spot. And again, the runway, the resume speaks for itself, and it is showing right here as they take all the other members out, and they are the only ones standing here tonight in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Well, it was Air Couture and Air Klein set for takeoff. Oh, Gory digging the thumbs into the eyes of Calvin. Oh, my goodness. Gory is just oh. so animalistic and remorseless, and there's that thirst for human flesh. Just biting into the head of Mr. Design, Tyler Klein. And look, you can look at the sadistic yeah. smile on Gory's face. Gory takes pride in being able to torture other human beings like that. What uh -oh. Gory does amounts to war crimes. But look at this, double team culmination on Crosshair's oh. Kelly. Double kick to the back of the head. Could that be enough, though? Here we go. Yeah, double pin, runway, take advantage. Notice that uh, Crosshair has tried to roll to the outside. That second or two reprieve may have been what saved him. Look out, awkward spill to the floor. Runway is running the ring. Yeah, Tyler Klein was pulling in Archer. Yeah. Can the runway turn this into their personal catwalk and win the pit fight tag titles? So the knee, the so leg sweep. So just yesterday, one. Oh! Centon oh. and a beauty. DeCapo breaking up that pin. The wise guys are tasting gold, but can they do it? Uh-oh. My God, Tyler had nowhere to go. And Calvin, a man on an island now, fighting with everything he has. Tyler might be tasting blood at this point. 
I believe in Couture, but wait a minute. Has him a 3G! 3G! My goodness! It's wise guys time, baby! Calvin's been neutralized. The momentum took him underneath the ropes, though, at Warhaus, ready to mark their turf. Meeting them at the finish line is what you could say. Oh, no. Has I shot? Hoss toss! My God! One, two. Warhaus retains. In a time of eight minutes, 44 seconds, your winners and still pit fight tag team champions, the best in the Midwest, Warhaus! Got to tip my hat to Warhaus. Not only a victory tonight, but when you think back to pit fight three, that is six different tag teams that Warhaus has overcome to solidify themselves as the best tandem in all of pit fight. I can't agree more, Joe. You know, when they talk about Warhaus, seven titles in three states. The best in the Midwest, you know, and they proved themselves here tonight in Greensburg, Pennsylvania, University of Pittsburgh. And again, they are holding those tag team titles. Who is going to step up to the plate and actually defeat Warhaus? That's the question. I guarantee you that mantle of Warhaus is going to stay pretty crowded for a long time to come. They're not going to let go of the pit fight tag titles anytime soon. And if this is the same side of Warhaus, you see, Doc, in your travels, I got some bad news for all the other tag teams watching on Indie Wrestling US looking for some weak points, because there ain't none. What is this now? Wait, the runway? I mean, the match is over, guys. You fought hard, but wait, what? what? Wow, a sign of respect here. Oh, there you go. Something BC Steel would have never let them do, but the runway have grown, they've matured, and they're able to acknowledge the better team here tonight. But the runway will be back Looking for another challenge, looking for another title sooner than later. So my question is this. Hello friends, I'm your pal in the mainstream media. And, and I'm the Riz. And you know, Riz, it takes years of strenuous, dedicated training before you're worthy to step inside a professional wrestling ring. But it takes even more time to develop complex, highly astute opinions about professional wrestling. Am I right? That is correct. Yes. And you know where we can find that? Yes. On the wrestling man. That's right. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com.